Hello, you want to be a virtuous person? I want to be a virtuous person, but we first have to get in our mind that virtue is not a code of rules that we follow. It's not rules that we follow. It's not a code of conduct. What virtue is, however, is a skill. A skill in which you acquire by doing virtuous things. Uh, for example, you want to be courageous, you have to go and do courageous things. You want to play the guitar, you have to go and... You want to be a guitar player, you have to go and play the guitar. Now, practicing skills and things like that, learning your tabs, those are activities associated with playing the guitar, just like being courageous. Uh, there are certain activities that are involved with being courageous. And I'm not talking about running your ass off the edge of a cliff because everyone else is scared and you jump off. Look, I'm courageous. No, that's fucking stupid. You're not courageous, you're stupid. However, the other end to the other extreme, being cowardly is not courageous either. So you have to strike a balance. Tighten the cord too tight, it will snap. Too loose, it will not play. It's got to have a balance in the middle. Okay? So, um,. That's where it comes to mind. What, well, how, what do I do? I want to be patient. I want to be a patient person. So what do I do to, to be patient? You say, if I want to be a patient person, then I have to practice patience. What, what, are, the patient, what are the practices of patience? Well, then now you're talking about the how-to. And the how-to is nowhere near as important as it is to be patient. Now, you can, you can know to count to ten, but that's not going to really help you if you're not going to be patient if you're not going to be patient. So the counting to ten is, is a, it's a skill or it's an activity associated with the skill of patience. Now you want to be patient so you're going to take part in these activities but by no means are they the thing to get you to your patience. It's, I mean it's as simple as that. You want to be patient, be patient. You want to be courageous, be courageous. Now I don't know what activities. There are some people that, that develop their own activities. I can tell you what mine are, but that's not going to work for you. Your activities associated with that skill have to come from you. They have to come from within you. And you do that through, uh, what is it called, uh, phronesis. And that's, a, it, it's based, that's an ancient Greek word that means practical wisdom or critical thinking. Think about what you're doing. Think about the activities. Think about the things that you are involved in that call up your virtuous acts, that call up your need for wisdom and fortitude, temperance and patience and readiness and, and, and kindness and all these other different virtues and courageousness, whatever. Whatever your virtues that you find true, uh, find out what those activities are through phronesis. Find out what those activities are to help you be a virtuous person. Help. They're not going to make you a virtuous person. You become virtuous by practicing virtue. You become a guitar player by playing the guitar, by practicing the guitar. That would be to say, if I practice scales, I'm going to be a guitar player. That's bullshit. You practice scales, you will be a scale player. You practice counting to ten, you will be a counter. That is it. If you want to be patient, practice patience. Use phronesis, use your critical thinking skills, find out what those activities are that are going to help you gain your patience or your virtue, morals, what have you. Okay? And remember, it's got to come from your heart. It's not going to be from the Bible. It's not going to be from your late, your neighbor lady not going to be from your kids or your wife or your husband or your nephew or your sister's aunt's cousin's nephew's brother. It's not going to be from any of these people. It's going to come from within you, those activities that you come across in daily life. Okay? Uh, beating a damn dead horse. There's your patience. I'm going to be a horse beater.